So this was probably the only dud for Black Friday, Small Business Saturday, Cyber Monday. However, I'm glad that I tried it because I had heard good things and it's good to know that y'all are out here lying. So not only is it well beyond New Year's, it's also well beyond when Black Friday happened, but better late than never. I'm not really a huge shopper, but I do believe in buying things that I need. I didn't buy a lot. I didn't spend a lot of money. However, I got some pretty awesome things. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Now I am your classic book buyer. I buy books faster than I can read them. Full transparency, all these books behind me, I finished none of them except one. All right, I started all of them. None of them have been finished, but surprise, surprise, they are back on my reading list for 2022. I got these from Black Market Vintage, which is located in Bed-Stuy. It's a cultural museum for black people that was carefully curated by two black women who don themselves as culture historians. There's a little bit of everything for everybody in here. Their goal is really to center the relationship between black people, material culture, memory, and contemporary. If you follow them on social media, you've probably seen that they've had the opportunity to work with some really cool brands and entertainment properties like Insecure throughout the pandemic. While I was there, I got to sift through their really cool book selection. I ended up picking up this book, The Wisdom of Martin Luther King in His Own Words. This is a book of every one of MLK speeches from 1929 to 1968. I have really been enjoying this. This is an original copy, so I kid you not, sis is falling apart at the seams. I can't take her anywhere. I've already had to tape some of, look, look. I always forget how much of a man of God MLK was and a lot of his speeches really hinge on his overall purpose for being here and, and why he did what he did, how he was able to impact so many people and literally change the lives of generations to come. And I'm a living byproduct of that. The other book I got was Homegoing. Now, while I was there, they had this cart outside with free books on it. Now, I don't know if that was unique to Black Friday or if that's something that they always do, but I got this book for free. It's essentially about two sisters who grow up in very different circumstances. Not necessarily a novel concept, but I think the storyline and specific to how the author crafts it is super unique. So I'm excited to read this. I'm actually going to save it as a summer read. It's giving summer vibes for whatever reason. I actually picked this up on Cyber Monday from Alter Planning Co. They were having a 40% off site-wide sale. And so I got the undated 60-day planner. Again, there are no dates in here. It's completely undated, but it typically retails for 16. And with the Cyber Monday sale, I got it for 12. So definitely thought it was worth the money. I found Alter Planning Co. back in 2020 during the pandemic. I initially wanted to get a planner because I had a little bit more time on my hands because we were all working from home, trapped at home, and I couldn't figure out where my time was going. Social media. So I decided to look for some planners. Ultra Planning Co. is black owned and they do have traditional planners, but I absolutely love this. I'm gonna flip to a page that I haven't written on yet. So there's a date section at the top. You can also include an affirmation here if you like. And then there's the must do, should do, could do calls email section first and later in the day and then blank space for you to include whatever you want. I probably use this section the most. There's also a mini kind of budget tracker if you want to track your expenses for the day. And then you can also do today's wins, milestones and achievements. I'm right handed, but I actually think it's really cool that this is more of a horizontal landscape. So if you're right handed or left handed, you're not really worried about the bind being on one side. So I think that's pretty unique. Highly recommend you check it out. Now, before I share these next products, this is not a beauty channel. I don't know anything about makeup. I don't know how to apply makeup. I don't know the first thing about makeup. But what I do know is that a black woman created an awesome vegan cruelty-free line of makeup products and I'm here for it. So I just wanted to make that disclaimer. The lip bar was doing a 40% off site-wide sale and so I had to take advantage because I was actually running out of my last brow pencil and so I ended up picking up two. I've been using the lip bar for almost two years now and admittedly, these are the only two products that I've ever bought from the line. They're both brow pencils. First product that I got was the Quick Draw 2-in-1 Brow Pencil. Now this might not be a beauty channel, but I see the girls doing this, so hopefully this is clear. 
I have been using this pencil for a while now and I absolutely love it. True to its name, it's a two-in-one pencil. One side is a brow gel and one side is the actual pencil. This pencil is a little unique because it's a little bit thicker than your average brow pencil. I used the classic MAC brow pencil for years, so this was definitely a little bit of a switch up for me. Because I don't use the gel a lot, I really like the pencil, so I have a couple of these where the pencil is empty and I still have the gel. And I keep it because sometimes I do just like using the gel to fluff, but it's super pigmented, so it really depends on what you're going for. Now the other pencil I got was the Exact Arch. Oh, my bad, y'all. Can you see? I got this in the shade Deep Brown. It's my first time getting this pencil. This one is a lot similar to the MAC brow pencil that I used for years with the pencil on one side and then the spoolie on the other. I like this one because I usually use both. I actually felt like it was probably worth showing what they each look like. Again, I'm not a makeup artist. I'm not even gonna zoom in on this part. So hopefully you can see right from this distance. I did the quick draw two in one on this side and then the exact brow arch on this side. I'll do a little turn. Okay, that's it. Honestly, they're very similar. I do think the exact arch does have a more precise brow. The quick draw is still true to its name. It's quick. I like this one because I can do both of my eyebrows in 60 seconds or less. This one, it does take a little bit more time. And because my brows aren't done, I find this a little bit harder to use when, you know, they're giving bush. But I would honestly still recommend and buy both. The exact arch is more of a traditional brow pencil in my opinion. And with the 40% off sale, I got it for seven bucks. It's typically 10. So definitely a deal. I think for what you get with this one, it's probably worth it a little bit more. The quick draw, unless you really like a gel, a little bit pricier, but wins for both. So I didn't save the best for last. This is actually the worst product out of the bunch, but I'm sharing it because I picked it up on Black Friday weekend. It wasn't on sale and I wasn't really expecting it to be, but I actually bought it at Showfield. And if you're not familiar with what Showfield is, they're known for having an awesome storefront that offers pop-up space to small mission-driven brands, typically ones that don't have their own storefront or that you would just have to purchase online. I got this each and every natural deodorant. Now I have this deodorant on right now and I honestly don't even know why I put it on because I already know it doesn't work. I keep putting it on every now and then hoping that it works. It's called insanity. This baby for $15, $15 for something that works, I'd have no issue. I will say one of the things that attracted me to it was the ingredient list, which is honestly one of the things that I love most about natural deodorant. It has no aluminum, no parabens, no synthetic fragrance, no baking soda, and no gluten. Like hitting all the marks. Now I will say two things, which honestly are irrelevant because again, the product doesn't work for me, but the first is the scent. I got the lavender and lemon scent and it actually smells really good. I love the smell and the actual consistency of the formula. This is probably the softest natural deodorant that I've ever used. Like Sis glides on. Now it clearly glides right off, but it has an initial glide and I can appreciate that. I will say because the consistency is so nice, I do wonder if it could be helpful for under chest sweat. I don't have either of those things, clearly, but I do wonder because it smells nice, because it's comfortable, if you could possibly massage this into your skin. Now, if that's worth $15, I don't know, right? If you gotta like that, you gotta like that. I don't have $15 to waste on deodorant that doesn't work. So this was probably the only dud for Black Friday, Small Business Saturday, Cyber Monday. However, I'm glad that I tried it because I had heard good things and it's good to know that y'all are out here lying. So I'm new here, but would love it if you guys could please like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you think. If you wanna see more videos similar to this, I'm going to keep producing them <laughs> unless I hear otherwise because I have nothing else to offer. Mm.
There you go. Good job. Turn center. 